Insects can be a population's biggest nightmare. Last month in Madagascar, giant swarms of locusts were seen crossing one of the country's national routes, destroying rice and corn crops on their way, and leaving the locals in fear of starvation. But if the Malagasy people have sworn to eradicate the two-winged creatures, in other parts of the world, insects are very much sought after as an essential ingredient to a delicious meal. Imagine having an aperitif of delicate worms from Netherlands, followed by a main course of grasshoppers from Cameroon. And for dessert, an insect cookie from London. I eat insects like this because they provide nutrition, they nourish the body, they're not too fatty but have lots of good ingredients. If you eat these all the time, you will rarely get sick. In fact, a recent study by the Food and Agriculture Organization, one of the main UN agencies, says that insects could and should become the food of the future. Edible insects are beneficial in a variety of ways. Um, they're very nutritious. They have high contents of protein and minerals. They are abundant, they're easy to reproduce, and um, they're already being eaten by more than two billion people worldwide, and that's one third of the world's population. According to the organization, it's a lot easier and better for the environment to breed insects rather than cattle or sheep. Not only do they require less feeding, but their eggs can also be used for other types of farming. For instance, this factory in South Africa has created the first industrial farming operations with flies. By combining flies' eggs and waste products, they make a type of fish meal which can be used as animal feed. At the moment, a third of all the fish we take out of our seas is used in industry and industrial agriculture. Instead of taking that natural resource, we can take our waste, recycle those nutrients and make an entirely sustainable source of protein that can feed our chickens, feed our fish and leave the fish in the sea to be consumed by humans and the nearly one billion people that are coastal fishermen that depend on those fish resources. Whether it's to preserve the environment, have a healthier diet or feed our animals, it seems like these little creatures may become a big part of our lives. <laughs>